Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Creative IT Resources. We just completed the installation of SQL Server 2012, where not only did we install the database engine, we also installed integration services, analysis services, and reporting services. We set the startup modes for those three services to be disabled. Let's go into the configuration manager and set those to manual or automatic and illustrate how to start, stop, or pause uh, those services. Click Start, All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2012, Configuration Tools, SQL Server Configuration Manager. Here in the left pane, let's make sure we have SQL Server services highlighted, and in the right pane we'll see the services which were installed. We have one instance of SQL Server installed, and that instance is the default instance of MS SQL Server. This is the database engine. It's already set to automatic and running. Automatic meaning when the OS starts, the service will start with it. If we go into the properties, we have the option to stop, pause, or restart that service since it's already running. Conversely, if it was stopped, we would have the option to start it. Now let's look at the server agent, for example, where it is set to manual for its start mode. Manual essentially means the same thing. However, the difference is it does not start when the server starts. But we do have the ability to start, stop, pause, and restart the service. Since right now it's not running, we only have the option to start. Now the three services which we installed that we were discussing a moment ago, integration services, analysis services, and reporting services. The start mode shows other. This means disabled. If we right click and go into the properties of those services, we can go into the service tab. However, before we do, let me point this out. We do not have the option to start, stop, pause, restart the service because it's disabled meaning that this service will not run. If we go into the service tab, start mode, we can change the service to start manually or automatic. We're going to choose manual. Apply it, and now we can see the differences on the login tab that we now have the option to start it. If we start it again, we would have the ability to stop, pause, restart the service. That's it. Uh, my personal preference between disabled, manual, or automatic, disabled is if I don't intend to use the service manual. Perhaps during a development process, I want to be able to start, stop the service to, to uh, save resources on the server. Uh, automatic production environment, you certainly want the service to start automatically to, for uh, reliability. Same thing, maybe a production test environment. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.